right, we, we've started a, a series called Create. Um, and I'm going to read a couple of scriptures, but, uh, or just reference last week, kind of give a review of last week, and then kind of I want to come up to speed uh, if you weren't here last week. And so, of course, the first verse in the Bible sum, sums up a lot that people don't think about. Uh, and it simply says, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. All right? Then he created everything, then created us, and expected us to create from there. All right? When, uh, um, on the seventh day, God rested. And so that means he's not doing anything else. Anything else that needs to be done, we have to do it. All right? And so Jesus said to pray let your kingdom come, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There it is. They, they know it. Say it again. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Come on, come on, come on. All right. The babies know the word. Praise God. All right. And so um, we always ask God to do really what we're supposed to be doing. Lord, go to the hospital. Lord, do this. Lord, do that. Lord, do that. Lord, and it, it, uh, we kind of get lazy or really fearful because we talk a lot, maybe pray a lot, or even study a lot, or even know a lot, but do nothing. All right. And so in this season, it's it's a it's a just do it season. All right. Now y'all know I'm, I'm I ain't really doing Nike right now. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I am, I will just do it. Praise God. Um, and, and so uh, in this season of my life, I am making moves. I am making moves. I ain't, I ain't doing a lot of talking. I ain't doing a lot of repeating. I'm, I'm, I'm making moves. This year, I got to make moves. This is the year of Kajo. This is the year of Canton Jones. This is the year I got to, I got to really uh, uh, be focused on the moves God made. I can't really try to convince too many people. I have to create. All right. You got to make it happen right now. So because God put his DNA on the inside of you. All right. And so you have creative ability. Now, I want you to kind of think about what man has created on this earth. All right. And he and he is really no other man. This is this is what I say. You know, everybody have their lane. But if a man can do it, then man, I could do it. All right. If a man could do it, if any man could do it, I could do it. If I if I go through the steps and learn certain things, I, I never want to come to the point where say, man, I can't really do it. All right. Not, I don't have the ability. No, no. The Bible says greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So you have more ability in you. But a lot of times we want God to do certain things that we don't want to do. Oh, it's easy to pray. It's easy to pray. Lord, do it. Lord, you do it. Lord, go to the hospital. Go down the highways and byways. Lord, go to the jailhouse. Look, no, you put gas in your car and you go. All right. And so in this in this time, it's time for us to make moves. If you are tired of where you are, move. Doing the same thing. What did it say? Insanity is. Doing the same thing, expecting different results. All right. And so you got to make moves. And so in this create series, um, you know, of course, um, I, I talked about the Tower of Babel last week where uh, the Bible says nothing will be restrained from them from what they had imagined to do. They haven't even built it. And God uh, and, the, and the Bible says that the Lord went down to see what they had built, not necessarily that they had built with their hands already, but their imagination was so strong that it reached heaven. And so their vision had reached heaven. All right. And so the thing that you imagine to do is alive. The thing that you want to do is alive. All right. The thing that God called you to do is a lie. You just got to one, speak it and then go do it. Amen. All right. Uh, 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 Ezekiel, can these bones live with well, Lord? You know, OK, what then what the Lord said? You prophesy. All right. Why didn't God speak to it? All right. Because it was on earth and you have dominion on earth. God gave you dominion. 
All right. If, if, if the bones could have lived through God, then God would have spoke to it. He said, no, you got to speak to it in, in order for these bones to live. Well, well, you would get wisdom. That's a perfect, perfect example. I'm going to get wisdom from you. You tell me now. He said prophesy. Now, I believe that he was connected with God, that whatever he said was coming from God. All right. So whatever you say is going to come from God. But you got to make moves this year. All right. Some of us have dreams that have not been achieved because we won't move. Calendar and feet. That's it. Calendar and feet. That's it. That's how I got most of what I put it on the calendar. Where am I going today? I'm going to start a business. How? I don't know, but I'm going down there. All right. We go down there. Well, I need a uh, what kind of businesses can I start? Like, what can I categorize? It? S Corp, LLC. What, which one you want? Uh, mm, uh, what they do? Oh, OK. This one do that one. Now I don't want that one. What this one do? All right. Give me that one. That, I'm going to do that. One. How much it costs? Boom. Oh, I ain't got that right now. Let me come back. Boom. OK. I come back with it. You see what? What never stops? What never stops? What never stops? What never stop? I'll be back with it. Okay, I got it. Now, give me a certificate. All right, boom, boom, boom. All right, I need equipment. Where I'm going? Let's go to the pawn shop. All right, let's go somewhere. Craigslist, anywhere. So let's start with something. Boom, boom, boom. But I never stop moving. But this is most Christians. Lord, help me. Help me, Father. Help me. And then the Lord give you a download. You're like, I don't have time for that. Or when, when can I do it? Nobody's going to help me. No. And you won't move. Who Help. Help is assistance to what you are doing. You don't need help if you ain't doing nothing. What am I going to help you with? What am I going to help you with? You don't need help if you're not doing nothing, if you're not making moves. All right? Now, now, now. Motives, when, when, when you have the right motives, which are God given, if you connect with God, you're going to have the right motives. All right? But, but in this season, wrong motives ain't going to work. Because everything's going to be exposed in this season. So, 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 but moves, you can't, be, you can't be afraid to make your own moves. You can't, let me tell you something. You can't be afraid to invest in yourself. Oh, man, the church is going to get real quiet when I talk about you spending your money on you. You know how many times I spent money and it didn't work? How much, how much money I had to spend and it didn't work or, uh, or the money that I had to find out to get the knowledge for it to work. And then sometimes you spent $1,000 to find out something worked that really cost $5. So you spent uh, $1,005 to figure it out. But once you got it, you got it. And then sometimes you give it to your brother and then you can multiply the efforts because of the knowledge that you know. So, so, so in this season, I'm making moves. I'm making moves. We are already, the Lord told me, don't look for a, a full uh, 30,000, 50,000 member uh, uh, facility where all these people, no, no. Jesus changed the world with 12. So he say, be mega. Be mega. No, he said, be major. Don't worry about being mega. So I'm running with major people in here. You, you, but y'all missing all y'all amens. Uh, we produced the song. Uh, Me and did the remix to the song that was out years ago. Says amen goes right there. And, and uh, it, you're going to hear it uh, on the radio soon. But a amen went right there. Y'all missed it. All right. So, so, so how many entrepreneurs do I have in here by faith? All right. Praise God. All right, so if you haven't started your business anyway by faith, we, we do everything by faith anyway, so you're going to start it. All right, now, um, I want to go through the process of problem solving real quick. So I want to teach young people how to think their way through problem solving. All right, Man, uh, Stiles, I mean, uh, yes, y'all get off the um, iPad right now and come and uh, 
run your business. I know you got a business too. All my kids got a little business. They making money too. Some of them making a lot of money. Loving need to let me hold something. A million too. They, boy, making beats, making money to tell them. Daddy got to go in there and get a loan. All right. And so um, a lot of us understand how to pray, but when God responds, our feet are frozen. Or we work on a job and we, we can't do the thing that will free us up from the job. All right. So if you have a nine to five, we in this church, I, I, I declare 100 percent entrepreneurship. All right. In the name of Jesus, I declare 100 percent entrepreneurship. I, I, I declare we're going to have millionaire kids in here. Glory be to God. All right. And so um, um, uh, uh, we have to teach them how to think. We got to teach them how to do business. Um, we have to un uh, understand um, that that uh, the rules uh, have changed a lot. Even in church, uh, being online, uh, we're going to transition a lot of what we do uh, to be online uh, because there's a work. The, the Lord told me, your, your harvest is there. You, you just got to shift. All right? And, 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 and a shift takes boldness. A shift takes boldness. Shout out to, man, the only reason I can see y'all because y'all light skinned. E man and Sherry. I just saw y'all. What's up, man? How y'all doing? I just, I just, I just, and the woman of God here too. How you doing, woman of God? Good to see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, um, um, but the uh, um, entrepreneurship on, on this level, as far as this church, I believe in 100% entrepreneurship. And so we have to start making moves. So what, what I want to do today is a quick exercise of problem solving. All right. Um, the subject is church. All right. We want to keep it 100. When you are, are doing a case study, you can't have you can't be soft. Your feelings can't be hurt. All right. All right. And everybody is not for everything. Look, free life ain't for everybody, but free life is for somebody. All right. And free life is for a lot of different people. All right. But 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 it ain't, you know, certain people that like certain type of music. You, I suggest, listen, let me tell you, let me get an address to Mount Bethel. They but they good down there for what you need. Ooh, Mount Bethel is good for you. All right. You know what I'm saying? Or what you need? No, you need you need to go to New Hope. Yeah. You need to go to New Hope if you want that. Yeah. We don't do that here. But there's a church for you. It's just but 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 I'm not going to abort my assignment. You got the wrong one. Yeah, you got the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come up here and frown because it's loud. I go back there and tell Dom to turn it up a little bit more. Yeah, let's go ahead and just get this over with right quick. See if we're going to have an attitude. Turn it up loud. Point the speaker towards them, too. Yeah, yeah. So we so might as well get it over with. If you're going to complain, we might as well give you something to complain about. Yeah, yeah. Not here. We, we different. Yeah, we don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I mean, and, and, and so when you're called, you have to be sold out to what, what God called you to. All right? You got to be sold out. You got to be convinced. You got to, you know, when everybody say, man, what are you doing? Everybody's doing this. You know, everybody's doing that. And God is telling me, everybody's trying to climb up these different mountains when I've given you your own mountain. I've been trying to climb up the gospel mountain or the music mountain when God has given me my own mountain. Re release the music I give you. You don't, have to, you don't have to listen to the radio to find out the trend. You are a trend. Woo! You ain't got to find out what's it. You it. And so in this creative, God, God has given you creative ability. And what happens is when we listen or try to do what everybody else is doing, you become religious or you, you become a clone. All right. And so um, today we are going to go through problem solving. Subject is church. So we got a, a floating mic around. Um, and, and we want to know. What is the formula 
not formula, but you know, for, for our generation, for what we do. Uh, now, now, when you look, look at Mike, man, come here, come here, come here. You, you the Mike, man. Listen, let me tell you something. Now. When, when you, when you, when you, when you hand the mic, stand now. <laughs> Don't walk off. Sometimes you got to hold the mic and just put it to their mouth. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> I got you, bro. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> all right, but problem solver. All right. So here's the first problem. And 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 the reason why I'm doing this is because success is when you figure out how to solve a problem. You don't have to solve every problem, you solve one problem. All right. Whoever made the chair is a trillionaire because they solve a problem. Uh, because don't nobody want to sit down. So whoever, they, they're like, man, I got this idea of a chair, you know. And before there was a chair, there was no chair. It was an idea. All right. The Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 2 says it was void. Well, how can God create something that's void? That creation, that first creation is an idea. In the, in, in the beginning, God had an idea, and then he began to speak what he saw, and then he saw what he saw. So everything starts as an idea. So these things, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to present certain things to you so you can understand that your difference is what makes you wealthy, not money. All right. When you start to do your difference, money chases you. Nobody brings me in for a praise and worship set. They bring me in the party. I do praise and worship when I get there, though. But they brought I was in. Baby, where were we last night? Lakeland. We was in Lakeland. We was in Lakeland, bro. I saw where we were on state, the, uh, the place where we were on state, the, ch the state championship. Um, we were in Lakeland. Uh, the man of God was celebrating his birthday. I think I did your birthday. Anniversary. Anniversary. So, so they bring me in to celebrate, to party. They don't bring me in to do a praise and worship set, all right, because that's my difference. So people say, all right, now, I could come with everything else, but I got to come with the different, like people will, will appreciate me if I start singing, we exalt thee, we exalt thee, oh Lord, we, and they'll worship with me, and after they dry their tears, they're going to be like, all right, <laughs> where that beat? But yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? They're going to worship with me. I, I, I could be like, how great is our God. Sing with me. They, oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. they go in. But when, they, when that's over. And that's how it was yesterday. I started out with Yahweh. And I mean, it was over, oh, thick in there. And when Yahweh went off. <laughs> you know, the face would be, people be like, and... They were like, and? Yeah, because people don't, nah, because my difference is that I bring the party. I, I, I'm the guy that you bring to celebrate. All right? And so I understood that about myself, and, and I started to create music where my difference is instead of being a clone. All right, now, now, I could do praise and worship, and I do that so that when I come, if the Lord tell me to go here with it, boom, I could go there with it. But nobody goes through all my albums and pick all the worship songs and say, come in and do Be Healed, come, come in and do, uh, they, don't, they don't want that. All right, they appreciate it, all right, but I'm celebrated for my difference, and my wealth is attached to my difference. <laughs> Woo! All right, so your wealth is attached to your difference. All right, what makes you different? All right, what, what, what makes you different? And everybody has a difference. And so you stress your difference. All right? All right, now, here we go. So the subject is church. 
And we, we, just, we're doing an exercise so that we can figure out how to solve a problem. All right? Now, some of this church... Uh, black man, black men between the ages of 13 and 30 don't like coming to church. Why is that? What can we do about it? I'm asking y'all. So this, this is the, this is the, this is the, this is the process of figuring out how to solve a problem. All right. So when you when we figure it out now, a lot of people figure it out and be like, yeah, 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 that's it. That's it. Then nobody make the move. All right. So we're going to go through the exercise of how. Now, please make your comments brief, brief as in try to make it one quick sentence and because the such and such and such and such and such, the such and such, period. Not. Such and such, such and such, such and such, period. Because when you think about such and such and such and such, when it's such and such and such and such, and when I hit you with the ant, that's it. All right? I want to hear a lot of different, different people. And I want to hear from the kids, too. All right? And I want them to think out why, what, what will make church more fun. Maybe that should be the question. Just what will make church more fun? All right? We can answer both. Adults can answer that one. Kids can answer that one. Kids, one day... We're going to get a facility that, man, I'm going to have basketball courts in church. See, they like to have, they like to have a basketball court away from the church. Now, we're going to be hooping while church going on. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, it's going to be crazy. People are going to be working out, swimming in the pool, church, right? It's going to be all in the church because people are going to be able to, you know, most people need to do two things to do one thing anyway. Which means to concentrate, like, I, I, I play Candy Crush. And think. It's a new game that we on too. All right. So so I want people to express their opinions. All right. So out of those two questions, you can answer brief. And we're, what we're doing is we're exhausting an answer. We're trying to figure it out. All right. Go. Who? who uh, GCS. You know I can't see you, bro. So I don't know where you are. Nice. No, I, I'm saying because it's dark. I, that's that's what we doing, bro. Nice. Okay. All right, bet. I got you. I got you. I want to say this, um, if you find, get the child or the person, whoever it may be, identify their talents, their gifts that God has given them, and allow them to have an opportunity to excel in that in leadership. I like that. I like that. Yes. All right. Come on. Man, her answer was great. Look, no. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> no, I think you said, um, okay, so quick answer is I think a lot of men of that age group don't really see a lot of themselves in leadership and there's a slight judgment that they feel so they're not more uh, welcome. Um, the answer, what she said. Yeah, I like it. All right, keep it going. I feel like church is, when you think of church, it's just all religious, you know, um, programmed, but I think we don't do life with people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. I think it depends. I think you have to ask that individual because everybody else is going to be different. And okay. then from there, you do a case study and build around it and then see if most people are on the same path, then you can move in that direction. Okay. I think, first of all, the church got to stop judging yeah. first. Yeah. They come in already defeated, already counted out. Because we already going to put our mouth on the people. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bounty houses, swimming pool, and food, and more people, and pre more preachers. But wait, what he said? I know he said swimming pool. What, what else he said? Bouncy house. Oh, bounce house. How to make the church more fun. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm going to make it happen. He said food, too. Food. I'm going to make it happen, bro. I'm gonna make y'all gonna cry. Kid, the kids, they gonna cry when they have to leave free life. We're gonna have, we're gonna have, I'm telling you. Well, I got a um, short answer to the uh, bring more men in here. It's uh, the men that's inside the church need to be more affected to the people on the outside of church. Wow, got you. I like that. I think that we have Turn this mic up, bro. I think that we have to ask the people that are not here 
why they're not here. Like, find out from, from men in the community that don't come to church, ask them why they don't come. Yeah. To get a better answer to what we're looking for. Like, all of us, we already here. We like to be here. Right. But the people that are not here, we need to know why they don't like to be here. Right. All right. Got it. I want to hear what E-Man got to say, man. I, that joke of mine, he, he, come on, bro. I need the E-Man, bro. Just make it culturally relative. That's the, that's the thing. Yeah, make it more culturally relative. Yeah, mm -hmm. gotcha. Man, get the E, man. Come on, E, man. Give me that wisdom, bro. No, say one word. Don't do it. Man, e, man, say I don't want to say nothing. I think that we should have, like, when you do Bibles, you can have activities instead of just, like, people reading it to you. Okay. Get him, yes. All right. Cause you got home. Just watch where black men migrate to and take some of that and apply it. Just watch where they're going outside a strip club. <laughs> I'll be like, but, but bring the pole in. It's right. Right. All right. All right. I'm going to tell you where they at. Battle route. Yeah. Battle route, boys. Like. Amen. Amen. I, I love what you're doing here, personally. This is my first time being here, and I love the freedom. But I just think that, like you said earlier, it depends where you are. Yeah. You know, and find out what the need is, mm. and then be there for the need. Excellent. Thank you. All right. We got some over here. I think so that we should have games too. What she say? I games. Games. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. We got the games, man, right here with all the skittles. I think uh, nowadays we're in a generation of broken people, so the church has to return to being a place of love. People are already hurting. If the love ain't here, where is it? Amen. Amen. All right. After this one, I'm finna pose. Okay, okay, Josh, Josh. I think a lot of folk, a lot of churches cater primarily to women. And so it's hard for a man as a, a husband to go into a place and look for that leadership when you don't see it. Yeah. Wow. He said it, catered, it caters to women. Women and effeminate men. Women, children, and effeminate men. Oh, oh, I can't say that. Yeah, I, I can't say I can't say women, children, and effeminate men. Oh, okay. Yeah, cause cause it, cause that's. You said from fifteen to thirty. Thirteen to thirty. Thirteen to thirty. Identifying what a man is and showing them how to walk and live as a man. All right, all right, all right. Y'all ready for part B? That, all of those were excellent. All of those were excellent. Part B is, what is the church? Is church this building on Sunday morning? All of these buildings. Um, what 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 is church like? When they come in here, they get judged, or when they meet you, they get judged. What is the church? We don't have to go out there. We already out there. All right. Are we conditioned to only turn our Jesus on when we come in a building? So everything just got bigger. Church is not this. Church is you. I'm going to say something that's very, everything I say is controversial. Um, you know who took the model of Jesus Christ the best? Gangs. 
A gang is a cell group that keeps growing. It's faceless. You can't stop it. You can arrest some of them, but they're going to keep multiplying. You can't stop them. They took the model of Jesus Christ and perverted it. Whenever we gather into a building, we limit ourselves. And they take over out there and they spread. And you can see their influence, even if you can't see them. So, um, what is the church? We already know that answer. We are the church. It's a body of believers. So, where should we be? Somebody say in the community. What? Uh, give Give him the mic because I wanted to be on 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 on. Um, on the camera too. I was just gonna say, we are the fish. Our job is to go out and fish and from where we come, where we come from, uh, where we delivered from, and just like you said, this is free life. So God deli- uh, saved us for, for a reason for us to go out and get those that are different based on what you're looking for as far as the church uh, coming to where they're supposed to be. So with which meaning that if God deliver you from something, your job is to go out there and get that person, bring that person in, and that's what is that's what's wrong with us today. Because like we said earlier, it's, it's too much judging, too much this is going on. So your job is as when God deliver you is to bring you uh, to the to which uh, to bring you to where your job is to uh, f- uh, bring those that are different, that way different types of lifestyle men, whoever that could come in and have fellowship and do what we're supposed to do, not just that person, but our job All is right. to create. All right. Thank you. Good. Great. All right. Um, so we're creating. All right. We're creating. Um, where are men that the church is not besides the strip club? Where are they? On the block. Where, where, where are they going to be today? Football. 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 Does the church, where well, the church has a presence, God has a presence in the game now, based off what happened last week. Uh, 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 now, 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 let me tell you something. It's a golden opportunity for us to, to, to take that to the next level. All right? We can't let that, you know, that die down. You know, because the, the product of football was at the knees of God. And if if something would have happened to where his condition would have gotten worse, they knew that football was going to suffer some kind of way. All right. So all right, we understand that football every man we we do church around football to be honest with you. We we get it. we're going to get out of here at 12 cuz the game started at 1. We know that. Like, come on now, that, 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 that ain't no, that, that, they set that up on purpose. Do church in the morning, because the game started at one. All right, that's what we do. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, that's what we do. So, so, all right, they are, they battle rap. We do a battle rap. It's all men. All right, uh, but we, we haven't figured out how to battle rap um, kingdom style because it's kind of lame because you got to compliment the guy you know instead of putting him down like man you're great like i don't hate you because you're great you know that jump man oh boo you know so you know <laughs> don't nobody want battle rap that ain't battling so so all right so we know but we know the men flock around um uh uh, uh battle rap football or basketball or any type of sports what what else uh will attract a man video game all right so video games will attract a man what else women that's that should be number one on the list no and food that should be number two on the list all right so so let's think this out let's think this out we're exhausting an, an idea hey you had your hand up Oh, what? E-man speaking. Nah, so I was just saying, you was like, where is everybody, right? Where are the men? 
Like, you mentioned football, but how are we watching football? You get all your information through the internet. So if the battle is being fought on the internet, then you're not in a fight unless you're on the internet. So therefore, like, when you're looking at the situation that happened with DeMar, right, I immediately started praying, and I'm like, God, you got to make this happen. He got to wake up. He got to breathe on his own. And then he got to stand up and walk out the hospital on his own. But when you go online, every attack towards that dude was coming from Twitter, uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Everybody was like, bro, he dead. He ain't going to make it. Ain't no way he going to pull through. He's going to have a, uh, uh, he's going to be brain dead when he come back. But he got up out the bed. They took the tube out. So the fight is fighting against the words that are being spoken online. Yeah. So you got a lot of bad knowledge daily being fed to everybody online. So you're saying we need to take the fight online? You have to. That's the only place you're going to fight right now. It's not going to be in person because when you're in person with somebody face to face, they looking down at their phone. Yep. So for me to get in contact with you, he go a text message, even though you're sitting right here. And, and, and that's why I said, E-Man speaketh. The, and, 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 and even um, the updates uh, and, and most of the things we enjoy is online right now. Like we, we don't, my kids don't do TV at all unless it's um, Netflix or something like that. So the generation, everything has changed. Their attention span, like church would be too long for them. Um, that's why I kind of let them do their iPad because I understand they're different machines. You know, and so, you know, at times, listen to daddy, but I know y'all going to go back to the iPad because really daddy's trying to figure out how to get you the word on that iPad. Right. You know, I, uh, uh, anything different back in the day, um, you know, they used to give everything to the devil at first. You know, oh, y'all see the new apple. See, Eve ate the apple. See, that's apple. See, that's the devil. Oh man, you see this uh, new metaverse? Huh? You see now they gonna see they gonna be, uh, and we always give all the negative. Of course, everything gonna have some negativity to it, but it's, it's you can do a lot of positivity, positive things with that too. Yeah, you know, boy, you know. As uh, soon as you get a get a, it'd be like, don't give your kids a cell phone too quick because they are gonna go straight to porn. Like that's gonna that's gonna be the first thing they do. I'm like, that's the first, that's the only thing they gonna do with the phone. Well, yeah, the devil's busy. God is busier. So, so I'm not even. Uh, but, but, and so, and so that that's the way to exhaust an idea. So we went to we we went from, and I want want to show you how we walk this out. And this is how you walk out certain situations when you got a business or you got a business plan that you're trying to exhaust. You do this. You throw ideas at yourself. You you, you ask other people and you do your research. And so now look look we've we've gone from. We've gone from affecting them how they feel when they come in here to us becoming the church and going out there to us now reaching them without even going nowhere. You, you, you see what the idea, we, 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 we've, we've gone viral in thought. From changing, see, because when somebody come in here, they got to be influenced to come in here. They got to, we got to advertise. We got to do all that to get them to come in here. And then you can only impact the people that's in the area. But what, what he talking about, you can change the world from your phone. So that's why I say, E-Man, speaketh. And but don't let Sherry start talking. Sherry got the mic. Come on, Sherry. Nope, speak. Every time I talk is, to your mama, she prophesying to me. Go ahead. All I was going to say is also remembering when you lead, like we say, who is the church? The church, we're the church. But who is that? That's Christ's bride. You're his bride. So how are people seeing you when you're out there? Because it's, it's not, it, let's move past the point of the church and say, but Jesus is coming back for his bride. Is what are you putting out there to, come, to add on what he's saying is, Words, God never intended on us seeing and having that much negativity fed into us all day long. Wow. And all we do is then repeat what we hear online. Yeah. So at the point that you say, you know what? No, I'm not going to speak what everybody else is saying. You, everybody, everybody in this room, get online and you say the truth. Yeah. 
that's how it's going to shift because, again, nobody, I don't, us, all Jesus in this room, you're not supposed to consume. That is, it's earthquakes over here. It's floods over here. It's, it's like death. And it's like, when did it get so bad? No, it's always been that way. You just didn't know. You've been not. Yep. Yep. That's the who told you you were naked question. Yeah. Like, everything been, nakedness been all around you, but you didn't know you were naked. Yeah, a lot of people grew up poor or, or, you know, didn't have as much as the next man or whatever. You really wasn't poor. You just didn't have the shoes that he had, you know, maybe because you was bad or you know, whatever. I don't know. Um, but when you came to the point of realizing that you poor is when your life changed. Not the fact that you were poor because you didn't know. You were happy poor. Until you came into the knowledge that you were poor is when you changed. So what changed? Nothing but your mind. All right. And so now, all right, we've done that and we got to get out of here. So, so we, we exhausted the idea. Now, if it's my idea that we're exhausting, I have to. By faith, because everybody said something that was great, but everybody said something that may have taken me into a different direction. Teach you how to create. So, so if I if I did his idea, I go this way. If I did her idea, I go this way. If I did this one, I go this way. If I do, so now I have to take the ideas to God. Like Lord. Lord, tell me, tell me what you want me to do. Uh, we got a lot of good uh, counsel. Uh, 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 you know, a lot of people said some good stuff. Tell me how you want me to do it, blah, 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 blah. And then he'll confirm how he wants me to do it. All right? Once I get that download and I'm showing you how I really live, I'm gone. I'm, I'm working. I'm moving. I'm working. I don't, I don't have to go to somebody to say, amen, pray for me, because I'm trying to. That's a bunch of I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I won't, it won't happen. When you ask somebody to pray for you, that means you really don't want to do it. Lord, let my will be your will. Let me want to, want to. All right, change my will, change. change. Uh, so, Lord how I am because I've been praying that prayer for so long I am aggressive about wanting to do the will of God and I, and I get at it I do a piece of it My, you know if, uh, uh, I do a piece of it I do a piece of it I do a piece of it and I go and I do a piece of it and when I moved over there with uh, Sheridan Sheridan had the building over here I saw this thing in my head and I was just in there building I ain't no carpenter I just got in there and was doing what I saw and, and, and it came it became this piece by piece Piece by piece. Yeah. Y'all met the man, bought the stage, we bought the stage, piece by piece. Pawn shop, pawn shop, pawn shop, pawn shop. <laughs> Lowe's, Home Depot, Uncle Earl, anybody. Help. And I'm getting it done. But it don't matter, I'm going to get it done. All right? So once you do all of this with your business, because there's going to be 100% entrepreneurship. Some of you will do this with to exhaust your idea. One thing, you take all ideas, all right? If, if you're asking somebody for their opinion, listen to it. Like, don't ask me for your opinion, and before I even finish, you telling me why my opinion don't matter to you. Yeah, the, never ask me again. Bro, what you think about? Man, I really think the hook is a little. Well, see, little, 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 see, bro, never mind. You asked me for my opinion. All right. And so now, but the last thing about this is if you are a busy person, here's the hard part. If you are a busy person, sometimes you're going to have to sacrifice your lunch to go do the dream. All right. Sometimes you got to ask for uh, time off. Or take your vacation time to not go on vacation to do the dream. Because you are trying to work yourself out of a job into entrepreneurship. All right? 
and doing the same thing without putting extra time into the dream, it'll, it'll never happen. You can pray as much as you want. Eventually, what's in here, what's in here has to hit here. Right. Right. Nobody's going to do it for you. Nobody's going to do it for you. All right? Do it piece by piece. You don't have to do it all overnight. All right? I expect everybody in here right now who has a dream and a vision to be an entrepreneur for it to come to pass by the end of this year. All right? All right? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to hear your hands clapping. I want to hear your feet walking. Yeah, because that's where it's going <laughs> to that's what, that's what happen. All right? Okay? And, and, and at that point, you cannot quit because you got a no from somebody or you couldn't find something or you built it and it didn't come out the way. You got to keep going, man. You cannot be a quitter. All right. So so give yourself enough time to make a mistake before the end of the year, because I want we want to see it. We, we want to see it. We probably gonna have a presentation of all businesses and, all, you know, and, and it, it, it has to happen, man. All right. To, to, you know, and, and sometimes uh, 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 the Bible says hope deferred make the heart sick. S don't don't say you chasing your dreams no more because that's what's making you sick. It's running away from you chasing it. Your hope is deferred. Oh, man, I'm living my dream. I'm living it. I'm living it. God, God's making it happen. But he's telling me the moves to make. Some of y'all been chasing dreams and careers and stuff for a long time, and it's not happened. But, but, but also change your perception of what's, what's not happening and what's happening. Some, sometimes you feel like it's happening compared to somebody else's. Like, man, I want mine to be like that. Or, or you're looking online, and they flossing, don't, not knowing that people can be so sad, and then, then smile for one second, and then you be like, man, look at them. They balling, and I'm over here at work, you know. Man, don't live like that. Don't live like that. All right? Success, uh, success is defined by if you did what God told you to do. That's it. Did you do what God told you to do? Then you're successful. Did you do what God told you to do? Then you're successful. There are millionaires that's killing themselves because you think they're successful, but they're failures in their own heart. All right, Father God, we love you. Thank you for the dreams that's being birthed in this place. Thank you for the doubt that's going away. Thank you for the confidence that I'm feeling right now. The scripture says I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. It says with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that I have a, a, a room full of believers. That they believe in you, but also they believe in themselves. Say out loud, I believe in me. Say it again, I believe in me. Kids, everybody, everybody in this room, say this. Say it one more time, I believe in me. We worship you right now. All right. Now, I want you to imagine your dream coming true. And I want you to start saying to yourself what you see. Start, start describing what you see. I don't, I, don't, I don't care what it is. You need to use your imagination. Describe what you see. Man, I, man, I see my business. I see uh, this on my business. I, I see the cars. I see uh, company trucks. I see uh, free life um, in this stadium doing these conventions. But I also see a bunch of uh, smaller free lives all over the world. I see pastors. I see leaders. I see a group of, of, of millions and millions of people subscribing to free life. I see us online. I see us having a, a crazy type of app. I, 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 I see uh, we have praying stations all over the world where people can go and just pray and get prayer. I, I, I see a whole nother type 
type of setup of church. I see, I see church uh, uh, bigger than just a building. Uh, I, I see us involved with the NFL, the NBA, uh, the NHL, uh, uh, the, the baseball, everybody. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. You see, I'm, I'm saying what, I, what he gave me. He downloading, and I'm speaking it. And as I speak it, I give life to it. Say what you see. Say what you see. Say what you see. Say what you see. Every time I see you, I see fleets, bro. I just see fleets of trucks. I see fleets of trucks. Every time I look at you, fleets. Get out of God, old bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of God, old bullshit. Hallelujah. You got to say what you see. You got to say what you see. That's why the presence of God is so important because distractions are trying to get you to say something. When you go on the internet, it's trying to get you to say something negative because that's how the enemy gets stuff to be birthed on this earth, by you saying it, by people saying it. And so we have to speak life. We have to speak life. I don't care what you see. I speak life. 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 Melvina, you, you be careful about but who you tell with the diagnosis? Because certain people go into panic mode and they speak and they speak certain things. Uh, uh-uh. no, nah, we ain't believe that. We we believe that we that it's a good. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. When people come in here, the doctor gonna be shocked every time. Yeah. We go out here and these kids are following these gangs. But if we turn around like God wants us to as being the body of Christ, us as the church, Mm -hmm. being the representation of God and not just representing it, but you are executing it the same way. And if if everybody would just identify who they are in Christ, understand their gifts, their purpose, their talents and everything else. And just do it. Because when you have something, when God gives you a vision, yeah. if you strategically stay connected to the source yes. who gives it to you yeah. and give opportunity. Yeah. See, the thing about it, I learned something, Pastor, in my downtime is that I have contributed to where I am now. Yeah. Because I had something that I could manage on my own, but God gave me a vision that I could push. And to allow others to help me push that vision. Yeah. Because as well as he's given me a gift and a vision, he's given them that also. Yeah. And yeah. when people identify who they are, just like these kids represent the gangs, they're so scared to go against it. If people could get their mindset back and the representation of Christ and doing as he has called you to do, all things will follow. Because I watched it. I was able to go and be taken across the world just to see something. Everybody thought they were going to give me something. But what I got was a transfer of wealth. Wow. And that is wisdom Praise that God. was formed into knowledge. And that knowledge, when it is applied, is a transfer of wealth. Yes. Because he gave you all a gift. And if you excel in your gift and do right by one yeah. another, as God has told us to, you're going to give somebody the opportunity to help you push your vision. Yeah. And when you get that opportunity and everybody conform together... And one, as the body of Christ, you'll see how big it can grow. But just give people an opportunity to excel in their gifts that God has given them. And sometimes we go after titles and we're going to grab these people. But you got your media person sitting right here yep. who will take you bigger than bigger could ever give you. Yep. But you was looking at the wrong place. Yep. The representation of Christ. If we all get our minds set back on representing God when we go out here. And not just in the church. But when you go outside these doors, remembering when you get ready to do something. Is this what God will want me to do? Just right. like the game members. Is this what the head will want me to do? What the consequences are going to be? Mm-hmm. That's it. Change your mindset. Come on. I tell you what. You don't sound like you got cancer to me. I know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. That's awesome. All right. Father God, we love you. Thank you for this awesome day. Thank you for your word. Uh, bless us, God, and as we leave this place, let everything be better than it was. 
before we left home in Jesus' name. Uh, thank you, God, for good reports this week in Jesus' name. Coming from the north, the north, south, east, and the west. Thank you for great reports. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. I love y'all, man.